Yeah, Jim's <laughs> muted too. Jim, you're muted. Just Jim in case is? we need. Well, I muted it because okay. I was here in background. I just wanted to be sure it wasn't me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. And Miguel, right. I still I see you muted. Can you unmute yourself? Okay. Yeah, good. I'm just, good. just muted for background noise. All right, Mayor. You I, hear, can... I, I hereby <laughs> declare this meeting for order and state that this is a meeting of the Harrison Redevelopment Agency scheduled for August 29, 2022. This meeting is a special meeting and proper public notice in compliance with with the Sunshine Law has been forwarded to newspapers published in this area. A copy of said notice has been filed with the town clerk. What the hell? Please, 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 I hear please join some... me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I'm hearing I some pledge background noise. To, to the flag. To the, to the, flag. Flag. To the, flag. the United flag. States of America. America. And to and the republic, republic for which it stands, for which it stands one, one nation, nation under, under God, God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Okay, clerk, call the roll. Okay. Fife. Here. Comprelli. Garris. Here. Liswan. Here. Lucas. Ray, you're muted. It's there. Raymond, you're muted. Okay. Okay. Simways. You're... Miguel, you're muted. Here, too. here, here, here. Okay. Stall. Here. We have a quorum. Okay. All right. Okay. The first order of business is the approval of the minutes of the July 25th, 2022 minute meeting. Can I have a motion? Motion, Motion. stall. Second, Garris. Okay, and made and seconded. We have roll call. Five. Aye. Garris. Aye. Liswan. Aye. Lucas. Lucas. Just have him type if you can't hear. Type it if you, if you can't hear. Yeah, thumbs up. We're good. Simoes. Abstain. Abstain. And stall. Aye. Okay. Next order. Okay. Thank you. Next order of business the approval of the bill list. And we have a motion. Motion, stall. We have a second. 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 That's list Who seconded? Who seconded? This one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. We have made and seconded. Roll call. Five. Aye. Garris. Aye. List one. Aye. Lucas. Thumbs up. Simoes. Aye. Saul. Aye. Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Next order of business is the authorization for the, for the execution of the certificate of completion for Harrison Building for Urban Renewal, LLC, Block 9899, Lot 4.01. Greg, could you, uh, or Jimmy, read part of the resolution? So this... Uh, um Every time that uh, this is the uh, Richard Miller applied group, every time they complete a building, they seek a certificate of completion, which allows them to um, do things like uh, transfer a mortgage and you know mortgage the property, permanent mortgage or the like. So they've requested a certificate of completion for Harrison building number four. Um, and uh, they, they have certificates of occupancy issued by the town um, the building department. And then we just make sure that they've paid all their fees. This resolution includes an obligation where they make their open space um, payments to the town in the amount of $385,000. Uh, they also have 
affordable housing payments, which they've made, there just has to be a final adjustment um, based on their construction cost certification. So um, this resolution approves the certificate of completion and the execution of a certificate of completion uh, for Harrison Building for Urban Renewal LLC, Block 99, Block 4.01. Um, and again, as I said, it's subject to them making that payment of 385,000 before execution of this certificate. Mary, have they made any payment? No. Okay. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> and um, well. also it's subject to a final audit and payment of um, COA fees, which um, affordable housing fees, uh, which are not yet um, determined but we have the continuing right to place a lien on a property if they don't pay them. So we're protected there. So this resolution would be authorizing the certificate of completion. Again, subject to that payment of 385,000. I don't know if anyone from uh, Pegasus or Harrison Commons is on the phone. The attorney, Jen Mazaway called me and said she wouldn't be participating, um, but I don't know if Richard Miller's an attendee. They're not, well, I put um, uh, Jennifer and Richard as uh, attendees, but they're, they haven't logged in. Okay. Jim, do you know what, what, what actual building is that, please? Okay, so the, building, Mary it's actually- the one, It's the one on Cefeli Drive that's farthest away from Rogers. The newest Okay, one. behind that piece, yeah, all right. Yeah, behind the behind uh, Lapid's no, no. yeah. block <laughs> numbers don't mean <laughs> block Say numbers don't mean a whole lot to me. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can we have a motion to approve the, the... motion? Motion, Garris. Second, Lucas. Okay. okay. Made and seconded. Roll call. Five. Aye. Garris. Aye. List one. Aye. Lucas. Same boys. Aye. Stall. Aye. Okay. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas was an aye, right? Yes. Thumbs up. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, is there anyone from the public here to be heard at this time? Yes, Mr. John Pino. Okay, type him in. He's in. Hi, John. Hello, Mayor. Um, it, uh, I have one question. In terms of the uh, green spaces uh, besides the park that uh, was discussed at the prior meeting, is there any plan to put a park in, in, in one of the blocks in the redevelopment zone? And if yes, wh where is that going? There have been some preliminary discussions about a park where, uh, uh, what's the name of the group there? Uh, across the street from our piece. Yeah, no, not advanced. Well, advanced too. They, they have a small park on their property. Oh. And uh, they, they have one now, but they're probably going to put some green space in in between their, their buildings. Uh, but on um, Accordia's property, or called, East I guess it's Harrison Station now, there talk, there's been some talk about a park down where there's a triangle piece of their property, which is right. Yeah, by, you know, the, by back. the train station. By the yeah. path. Well, not the train station, but. The path, you know. rather. Yeah. Other than that, uh, yeah, there's a, there was also a piece along uh, First Street uh, right after Joe Super's property, but that had we we used the we used the money for that from that park for the park that we put along the river. So we'll have to uh, you know to look into that also down there. Okay, these parks that you're describing, Mayor. They're for the public or are they for the residents of those particular buildings? Public. You mean the park by the river? 
No, the river, the park by the river, I understand is public, but you're describing yeah, yeah. other, you're describing other parks that. Yeah, the one, the one, the one by Super's property down by the river, which she hasn't completed building yet. That's for the public also. Yeah, the other, is the other parks that you just described uh, for the public? Or are they for the, the residents that reside in the building? No, the residents, the residents all, all have, there's a park-like uh, center of their buildings for them. Uh, uh -uh. They haven't opened that up to the, to the public yet, but you know, that's a possibility. Okay, so, so my, each, each my, question of, is, of, my question is uh, with respect to the public in Harrison, Using a park, not not uh, residents of the, the apartment buildings using their their apartment buildings. Uh, green area. Oh yeah. Well, the three I the three I mentioned, John, were all public. Okay. So the riverfront is public. And what else is, is right? When 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 uh, are the other? Uh, you said there's another park by by uh, Super down by the river. Yeah. Right. We use the money for that park for the park by uh, on Cape May Street. Okay. So and then there's another an, another park that's going to be going up uh, on the triangle along the uh, tracks. It's public park. It's bordered on Fifth Street. As you go under the railroad bridge, if you make a left, there's a piece, there's a big piece of a uh, big triangle piece of property. And that was uh, designated is, is there, a, as a park setting. What what happened to the green spaces in the redevelopment plan, the original development plan? You've had 14 amendments to the plan. Where did the green space go? Is anybody from Susan's uh, office on? Hello, Susan, Mary. I'm sorry, Mary, I'm still having a hard time. What, what are you asking? I'm asking if anybody from the, from uh, Susan Gould's office is on the line. No, they, they were never, they were never um, oh. invited. There was nothing, oh, I didn't okay. have to get any issue. Um, Cause there, again, the, the uh, agenda only included their certificate. So I didn't see any reason to have them here. Well, John, we've refurbished all of our parks in the other, you know, the above the uh, train station, I mean, the, the tracks. And uh, as far as Joe Super is concerned, he hasn't started building yet, but there's parks planned in his, there's a park or two in his property. He also, uh, on lots A and B, there's probably going to be some open space. So we haven't really uh, gotten too much to that yet. There's actually um, a, a, a walkway or a, a retail <laughs> corridor, I guess you would call it. Um, well, I guess the retail's on the outside, but there's uh, going to be an area dividing that those four buildings that will be open right. to the public. And there's some, you know, green, green space if it's part of that. All right. Well, I didn't get. And any of course, we have the, the biggest piece, public service. Uh, they're the EPA's uh, holding that up. Where we were going to do some, you know, planning over there, but EPA is going to be using it to for the river dredge. We don't know how long that's going to be. It could be ten years, but that's up to the EPA and PSE and B to determine what's going on there. Mayor, yeah, do very you, little to say about it all. Do you think that that with all of these apartment buildings opening up, that it wouldn't be a, a, a good idea to put a park in front of the Red Bulls and Rogers Boulevard rather than additional uh, 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 apartments buildings? Do I think it's advisable? 
Well, first of all, we don't own the land, John. So the people who uh, they've already gotten approvals for apartment buildings, and they've had them for a long time, and uh, they're going going to uh, do what they have to do. In, in reference to a park by Red Bull, Red Bull has a small park, but they don't let anybody use it. They use it though. Well, that go back to my first the, the question I had. Where where did the green spaces go in the redevelopment plan? So if you need higher rule to answer that question, I, I'd I'd like to have them answer that question. Where did it go? There's 14 amendments. Um, I sat as one of the original uh, commissioners on the redevelopment plan, and there was green space. Yeah, I remember green spaces in the plan. Those are not there now. Well, John, we'll have uh, our group give you a call. Okay. Well, I, I don't necessarily need a call. I, I need, they're not there. And you just said that you're not going to use the front of the Red Bulls, the blocks there, because they're, some developer has them, but they haven't yeah. done anything with it in years. So wouldn't it be good to, Get it back from them. But, build a park. Hold it. Get it back from them. Well, if you, it, it, the redevelopment agency has power and had the power and still has the power, the eminent domain properties. You eminent domain businesses in the town of Harrison to build to build what is existing now, and in the plan. Even for the developers who exist now, there was green space because you you need green space in communities so people can get out and enjoy the space. Uh, and we John, have now people in every one, the, the people in every one of those buildings have green space. That's not the people in the town of Harrison necessarily, but they have green space in every one of their buildings. They have recreation areas in every one of their buildings. This is for their tenants. Okay, but, but the, the plan. And we have we have parks in the rest of the town for the uh, citizens of you know who want to use them. Everybody can use them. And we have a big park along the river going going to be completed in the near future, that, and one along the other side of the river, that, and one by the V down there. So there's there's space. There, Mayor, the, in the in the original plan, the, the residents of Harrison, all the residents of Harrison, not just the southern part of Harrison, not just the redevelopment zone, were promised that there would be green spaces. There are no green spaces. Those spaces, you, you, you park by the river that you're describing, goes to five feet. It's it's stuck in there uh, as an afterthought. Uh, you're, you're talking about uh, Super is building something. That's great. Super has been a long time uh, uh, resident or, or, or company in the town of Harrison. I, I applaud that. But that space is not built yet. And I don't know if it's going to be used for those tenants in that building and not the rest of Harrison. So the, the original plan was for everybody, not just the, the people that are in in the redevelopment zone. Um, if, if I can interject, it's Jim Bruno. Uh, John, um, I think that what the mayor described, the space along Cape May Street and along First Street were the two major park components of the original plan. I may be wrong about that, and those are still part of the plan. But we, you know, I think if you don't want Susan Grew to call you, maybe at the next meeting, we can have them just explain what's happened over since the original plan. But again, I yeah. don't know for sure, but I don't think that much of the public space was been deleted. If any, I think it's still all there. And on top of that, as part of the plan amendments, we started to do this collection for public open space and parks, which you heard in this resolution, this one developer giving almost 400,000 for it, which we could use anywhere. So. Um, I, I think there's maybe some mis, uh, misconception about the, the uh, agency and the town's um, commitment to open space. I think they've demonstrated that, but again, 
And I don't think we've eliminated any, but I can't say that 100%. We would need higher Grover. Chime in. Well, from, from what I heard, the green space is, is not, there's not going to be any additional green space beyond the, 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 the described by the mayor. There's no major, major uh, green space for the residents of all residents of Harris uh, that was promised. Uh, the the other issues are the the bridge Jackson Street Bridge. Nothing's been done about that. Uh, the interchange to 280 to alleviate the traffic. Nothing's been done about that. So those are other issues that were in the redevelopment plan uh, and not not done. And the plan kept changing. As developers showed up, and no one stuck to the original plan. That's that's the beauty of uh, adaptation, just like the Constitution. Sometimes it changes. All right, thanks, John. Thank you, Mayor. We'll get back to you on the parks. Well, you, you, okay. you, can, you can call me, but from what you said, nothing's going to be changed. John, right? You're not going to get well, the you, you, back. You're not going to do it, John. You. John, you report what I said, whatever you want to say, and uh, we'll get back to you on the parks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else care to be heard? Nobody at this time, Mayor. Okay. So uh, let's have a motion. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Okay, the ayes have it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody. Be safe.